I'm putting on hold some small decorative snowmen for upcoming Christmas made from old Christmas tree to start work on this. Just some big box store salvaged wood or scraps or just throw away, whatever they call it. And for a dish holder, plates, cups to go over a window. Don't know where I'm going, but figure I'll get there somehow. Hope to have you along for the ride. Just hang on tight and let's get to work. Well, here we have, we're just setting up to start trimming these down to lengths. Just gonna cut the ends off, then gonna measure in about 34 inches and cut them up. Just got them set up on the sliding miter saw. There we have just a nice little cut. Save these for later. Then I'm gonna go ahead and measure down and see where I go. Here I got it measured to about 34 inches. Doesn't have to be perfect and just set up a speed square. Of course, it's I'm trying to do this one handed. Then I'll mark that, then I'll flip it, mark it on the other side. Here I have it marked. Then I'm just going to flip the boards around and cut them to length. Now I'm just getting ready for the cut. See you in a moment. And here, I have a fairly nice cut. Now we just have to rip them to size on the little table saw. And we'll see how we go over there. Using a more inexpensive saw to get accurate cuts, you really need to take your time and measure both the front in the back of the blade to get as accurate as possible on a cheap saw. Well, now I have the two side pieces ripped and cut to size. Now I gotta work on the, what will be the shelves, top, bottom, and middle. Out of this pieces of scrap wood or throwaway from the big box store. Now just got to figure out how wide we want it and cut these to size. Right, so I know I need this to be, these shelves to be 38 inches wide. So I'm going to go ahead and trim off the end and get this one cut down to proper sizes. Bit of a design change here as it turns out the boards we had, these ones weren't exactly long enough to get me two pieces of the same correct size out of each. So now I'm going to have to create a couple of shelves out of this big old plank of salvage wood that I had in the garage from when we bought this house. So I'm going to have to try to cut this up and see if I can get that to work. Let's see if it works. Okay, well, unless something else happens, I have all the pieces meld down. Now comes the fun part of sanding. Well, I'll end this video here. And thank you for joining me for my first real in-depth build video. And as always, if you can read it, time to get back to work.